Well, more and more cities are doing what's really a cool thing around the country now. Uh, they're calling it the guaranteed income. Uh, and that's where they give you like maybe $500, $1,000 every month for a year, two years, sometimes even three years. It's different in every city and more and more cities are picking it up. Uh, actually, remember the guy who was running for president last time and, and he was talking about this and everybody said, oh, it'll never happen. Well, it is. And it's popping up. Now here's Long Beach or, uh, had it already and now that it's been so successful they're doing it again and $500 for 12 months and when you apply it op the application is open up in January 2024 so that's you know <laughs> next month is going to be open to apply if you live in uh, Long Beach but other cities around the country are having it they're starting it or whatever so you got to get in on the ground floor early because the application will only be available for a couple of weeks or a month or whatever, stuff like that. So that's why you want to get in line. Okay, here's another one. Sacramento has uh, $50 a month for extra income uh, to apply. Here's another one. St. Louis uh, has it. And again, it's $500, not what did I say, $50 a month in Sacramento? No, it's $500 a month. Okay, there here in St. Louis, it's for 18 months, okay? Now, how do you find out about it? Well, uh, one thing you do is go to your elected official. Most of this is run by uh, the mayors of cities. And they're the ones that, because the mayors, they, there's a, uh, a website on mayors for guaranteed income. And, and so they're encouraging other mayor, mayors to do this because if they give people with low income just a check, just cash, you do whatever you want. It eliminates a lot of paperwork and it's uh, the people are happier getting the money and not having to account for everything. So you just spend it whatever the hell you want to. Uh, you're, you're really in the best place to determine <laughs> what you need money for, not some bureaucrat sitting in the government, right? Uh, so you go to commoncost.org, put in your zip code, and find out who the heck your mayor is. Okay, if you don't have one there, then another place to start looking is go to findhelp.org, okay? And if you put in your zip code, and then you get something like this, you could see, and click on money. Because when you click on money there, these are programs that are already there in your city that give out money, okay? So here in uh, uh, St. Louis, they have 637 programs already that give out money. So they're also adding a new one called Guaranteed Income. These programs, 637, are for special things. So it's not money you could do any, well, some is, but most of it is for something, like help pay for gas, help pay for work expenses, help pay for clothes for school, how do you like that? Help pay for medical supplies, help for food or childcare, housing, uh, books, bus passes if you need money for that, prescription drugs. See, that's it. Six hundred and thirty seven so you put in your zip code start there now the way you start this say if you want it uh, you need money for rent or something so you find the rent and you start calling people that offer things for rent actually that'd be a separate item so because uh, I don't see that there but I know they have it there so we put rent there uh, come on okay so they have 61 programs just to help people pay for rent now the best way to do this is call you get on the phone, call the first one, say, hey, I have trouble paying rent. Can you help me? And they'll say, yes, no, maybe, okay? Uh, now, if they say no, this is the important part. You say, well, who else do you think will have money to help me? Or sources or help or whatever it is. And that's who you ask, because they'll tell you people that aren't even in the database yet. See, and that's the important thing. They're the best places to know uh, what's going on where you live. Not me, not the internet. Please don't use Google for anything, okay? When you have financial trouble. Uh, it's better to use AI and put, say, grants for rent or grants for this, because AI will tell you, <laughs> you know, just the people that give out the money. Google tells you all the people that want to get your money. You don't have money, so don't go to Google. You go to Google when you have money, so please don't go to Google. Go to chat, C-H-A-T dot, openai.com, put in grants for um, for rent, and put in St. Louis <laughs> and see what comes up. Because everything there will just be 
people that give money. This is like real research, not marketing research <laughs> to get your money. That's what Google is. Stay away from there. Okay? That's what we're trying to teach people at Let's Go Help how to do that because the good stuff is not in Google. Or if it is, you'll never find it. <laughs> and, so, and we charge $20 a month. You can ask us $100. I mean, 100 questions a day if you like. And we give half the money back to people. Not to you individually. It depends. Uh, but about half the income that we get from subscriptions, we give back in grants to individuals who are members. So you apply for our grants. We got four every month, uh, either for car repair or for to spend on anything or to spend on rent, mortgage, and even free computers. And that's getting very popular. I don't know why people all need free computers, but we'll send you a free computer. It's not guaranteed. It, uh, uh, you know, we see people who really need it. So you have to tell us why you need a computer. Actually, I think that one is still a lot. We keep changing. I can't even keep up with it. The world's changing so fast out there. I can't keep even, I even can't even keep up my own stuff. <laughs> but let me help you because the help is out there. Whether you need me or not, you could start with findhelp.org and start talking to people. Don't rely on a website. Rely on a person.